getting ready for solo mo at ICMA. What a beautiful day. Hmm, let me find some interesting data. There are over 1 billion monthly active Facebook users. 80% are outside US and Canada. 72% of mobile users use an app to research travel info and attractions. 600 million videos watch daily on YouTube mobile. YouTube is local in 43 countries and across 60 languages. Over 700 YouTube videos are shared on Twitter each minute. Now let's see. Top things to do in Istanbul. This looks interesting. Um, no, no, like this. Good, good. How fun, let me send this to Gabby. This video tutorial is great. Oh yeah. Hey, that looks like the dance instructor. Ooh, time to go. Now let's see. Tips for hiring a taxi in Turkey. Hello. Hmm. Don't hire a taxi off the street in front of Cafe Istanbul. If the driver looks like Jack Humphreyville, oh my. I don't think so. Let's go sightseeing. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque built from 1609 to 1616 is popularly known as the Bloom Mosque. It's so beautiful. like to thank the ICMA publishers who contributed to my request for the following video segment. However, it looks like many of you had technological challenges, but no worries. Our team was resourceful and took the term mashup to a new level. I wonder what some of my ICMA friends are up to. It's time for a social hangout. Let's see who's online. Hi guys! How are you all doing? Hey, so I decided to have a social hangout to ask you guys some questions. You know everyone at ICMA would love to hear your words of wisdom. Are you up to it? Yeah. Well, thanks guys. Let's get started. Do you all expect 2013 to be better than 2012? Not at all. All macroeconomic metrics we use at Concentra show that 2013 will not be better. Budgets are currently made with a lot of caution and as an ongoing business. Every new project must have a clear ROI. Yes, I do expect it to be better because I always think positive. Me too. I'm optimistic and one day the general economic situation will, will improve and hopefully it will be already next year. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any evidence supporting that optimistic view. Absolutely, 2013 will be better. 2012 has been a decent year with year-over-year -year print revenue growth of 7% and digital revenue growth of 35%. We expect that growth rates will accelerate through 2013 with an improving economy and aggressive investment in both print and digital. In short, yes, digital activity in our business is only going up and we are well positioned to take that. In print, the environment is declining but manageable and we still have a lot to take out of this side of the business, so we sh should also come out ahead there too. 2013 will be better. Our traffic is growing, our people are selling our print, digital, and bundled offerings, and our networks are very effective for advertisers. I expect less uncertainty in 2013 in the U.S. market. A continued trend towards structural efficiencies by most businesses, targeted acquisition and implementation of technology, and continued sluggish demand across most industry sectors. This trend will continue until demand and GDP growth accelerates above 2%, which will have stimulative effects on employment and housing stability. What is your biggest fear for your business in the next two years? Sky falling on our head. Just kidding. Being complacent, too inflexible, thinking we know it all, and then missing something. Also competitors, new revolutionary innovations that disrupt what we do as well. If big players are getting too strong position on the market, then there is no place for smaller competitors. But on the other hand, there is always a possibility for small and flexible players like my company to grow. For me, it would have to be government regulation, litigation, and other 2008-like economy in the U.S. Who knows what's next, but will we have the managerial and financial resources to adapt? My biggest fear is not to have enough time for my family because of the business. Honestly, a higher decline in print revenues and faster switch from the market to online is my biggest fear. And because online revenues are not only lower, but also coming from big advertising players as Google and Facebook, we will need to focus on a lean and mean organizational structure combined with innovation in new products in our local market. Drag associated with legacy products platforms in the face of more flexible, well-capitalized startup businesses on a global basis. What kind of company do you see yourself being in in the next five years? A massive departure from where we are now. The premises, the way we work, the way we hire, the way we approach our market, and we could possibly be in, in totally new markets that just become very opportune to enter. Our models will change huge. Social and mobile will help our brands and businesses business models spread faster than we could have ever done ourselves. If we embrace them and prepare to sacrifice things we used to cherish to accomplish this, then we have a lot to gain. Just think about answering that question five years ago and see where you are now. Take that change and multiply it by 20 in terms of change, and that's where we'll be. What won't change, though, is the fundamental that really defines our purpose. That is, bringing buyers and sellers together and giving them success. If we stay true to that, then bring on the change. We will still be generating the majority of our revenues from print-related products. However, digital revenues will grow from 6% of the current revenue pie to at least 35%. If it remains below that, we are doing something wrong. Well, Martha, in the next five years, we should be an online-only company, focusing on self-service sales based upon great IT solutions. I see us being a company that is less leveraged in advertising and digital media revenue and more heavily invested in business systems and back-end tools. That's why I'm going this to both. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite thing about the ICMA? The Saturday Business Leaders Meeting. I also like the Saturday Business Leaders Meeting as well as networking, visiting the vendors, and hanging out with people from other countries. For me, it's very simple. Networking with people in the same industry, sharing similar opportunities, and facing similar threats. Clearly, the networking, but lately I like the benchmarking and learning new things that our members are trying. When we at ICMA were primarily a print association, there was not too much innovation to discuss, but now that digital dominates the association, there is such a diverse and large amount of in innovative initiatives taken across the world that all are relevant to our business. For me, it's the opportunity to connect and discuss trends and issues with innovative and successful professionals across a global marketplace. ICMA is positively a comeback organization, which means that you get acquainted with everyone pretty easily. The content of General meetings are providing new fresh insights 
every time and also supporting your professional development. I really like the openness of ICMA members when sharing information and best practices. I love it. ICMA is like a big family. You are, I always meet great people with uh, great ideas. The bar surpasses the food by a wide margin. <laughs> 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 Lastly, if your company could be acquired by Apple, Google, Shipstead, eBay, or you, Jack Comfyville, which would you choose? I choose Google. Honestly, guys, no idea. But I suppose the one that will make me the most money. Although eBay will give us the opportunity to try out some new stuff. She said, because they have good understanding about the market and business we're operating. Jack, no question about it. Definitely not Jack because he's too cheap. However, he would be willing to pay something for brand where the others wouldn't. We have great content and services that could be seen attached to Apple's uh, ecosystem in a way that consumer experience would be radically better and addictive. But for us, I would really like to see Jack Humperville uh, as a chairman of Apple Board. Any of the above except for Jack, because if he bought our business, it would mean two things. One, we haven't managed our business properly because he sees more value in our future than I do. And two, we'd have been screwed on price big time. Just kidding, Jack. You know I love you. Who cares? Just show me the money. Well, thanks, guys. It was nice hanging out with you. Enjoy Turkey. Sonra Gorushuri. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Not at all. <laughs>